Tati, if you saw me on rollerblades, you'd be like, dang. Really? <laughs> well, you sound doubtful. Fourth of July is next Monday, and there are already all kinds of fireworks displays and celebrations, and you'll want to help make this exciting time a safe experience for your pets. Devin Bianco from Michigan Humane is back with us and has some great advice. And you also have a, a dog that needs a home. And our sponsor, the Mike Morse Law Firm, will pay the standard adoption fees for whoever adopts today's pet. Who do you have with you? So this is Minestrone. She is just oh about two goodness. months old. She is very sleepy now. She played a little bit and now is taking a nap. <laughs> now, now she's conked out. Is she uh, like a brindle pit mix or what? Yeah, what she... so she's a pit bull mix. Um, she's brown white brindle, um, and she is just the sweetest girl. I mean, she's like any puppy. She likes to play, eat, and then sleep. <laughs> All right, so at, at approximately eight, nine weeks old, uh, do we know what kind of home would be good for her? Or Someone's going to be able to keep up with her. You know, she gets bigger. She's going to need to be active, and someone's going to also work on her manners with her as she continues to, you know, her teething starting to come in, so she's going to start teething, and, you know, someone will work with her and be, let her become the best pup she can be. All right, I've told this story before, so I'm going to give the too long, DL, you know, TLDR, too long didn't read version. Um, one year we were up visiting some friends on Lake Huron, and a dog who had been injured by a firework came out of the water right into my arms with a hole in its leg. What do we need to be concerned about with pets and fireworks? So fireworks are a scary time for our pets. You know, dogs, cats, it doesn't matter. They're all kind of frightened. So the best thing you can do is be prepared. If you know that fireworks are going to be coming up this week, everyone has them throughout the week. So make sure you set up a room or a space in your home that they can go to. Um, have either a radio or a Bluetooth speaker TV on with quiet noise so that it kind of can distract them. Also, make sure your pet is tagged. Either they have a microchip or their ID tag is on them. So if they do get out and they run, you can help reunite them back with you. Um, and finally, you know, when they go outside after the fireworks, check for debris because you never know what if something falls into your yard, it could be out there, your pet gets into it, and that would be sure. just catastrophic for them. Uh, it's an important point that you mentioned about having the dog tagged um, because the dog that swam out of Lake Huron into my arms had a collar on but no identification at all. It was just by pure happenstance that we found the owners at a nearby campground and returned the dog to them. Yep. So make sure, I mean, tags, you know, tag chip. Microchip, a microchip, it won't come off. It's in there. So make sure if you don't, if your pet's not microchipped, now might be a good time to get them microchipped. All right, Devin, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good to see you as always, Minestrone. Take a load off. <laughs> Remember, the Mike Morris Law Firm will pay the standard adoption fees for whoever adopts today's pet of the week, Minestrone. And the Mike Morris Law Firm also wants to help you if you need legal assistance. Visit their website, 855mikewins.com, or call the same, 855-MIKE-WINS on your telephone to find out if you, yes you, have a case.